Let's give it. Let's shut her off here. See, that's the fun of having an old bike. You never know what you're gonna get. What's up, you guys? This is the first motor vlog. As you can tell, the bike is running like crap right now. Um, it's jerking all over the place. It won't idle. See, all my power kicks in. I think that one of my cylinders isn't hitting. Um, isn't hitting until a certain RPM. Right there, I have throttle almost wide open. And then it all kicks in. When it's there, it's there, baby. Let me tell you what. Um, it does ride really well. It's just, it just takes a while for it to actually get the power. Hopefully there's no cops behind me. I have one mirror, but... There we go. So it feels good once I get about four, 5,000 RPMs. It feels amazing. But up until then, it just feels like shit. Um, I'm gonna go grab some gas right off the bat here. And uh, maybe that's probably feel jer here jerk in there. That's not me. Throttle staying still. So uh, let's get some gas for it and maybe that'll help things. Um, let's pull in here behind the Ultima. It's idling. That's cool. Normally it doesn't idle. Do -do 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 -do. Pay inside. Do -do -do -do. It'll do. Make sure I have some money. There's like a 10 in there. Yeah, there's a 10, so I can't go above $10. All right, I better take the cap off. This guy probably hears me and he's thinking I'm nuts. I just spilled gas on my hand, what an idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna do something here real quick. Hopefully I didn't shut it off, okay, cool. I'm gonna put this up on this little kickstand deal so I can get a better even amount of gas. There we go. Splash gas out a little bit, whatever. Yellow. Turn it off of reserve. Oh, damn it. I did shut it off. Well, I guess that's all I'm putting in for now. Idiot. Is that like two bucks? Moron. Jack that up. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. 277? Yep. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Less is better. Yeah. 23. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Okay. All right. Well, that was embarrassing. I guess it is like, for all she knows, I only need 277s worth, which kind of looks like that filled her up pretty good. I managed to spill some gas. As always, all right, now here's always the best part, hoping the bike starts. So otherwise you look like a moron, sitting there kicking and kicking. Should I try, try electric start? I want to be brave. We're going to try electric start. Yep, nope. Go with the kick. Oh yeah, first kick, baby. Let's get out of here before it dies. Get out on the highway here. Um, we'll go right. There's my second cylinder. Yeah, I'm close my visor. Look at me, I'm cool. I don't think you I'm not being inconsistent on the throttle. That's my bike being inconsistent. So I don't want to stay too far. I don't want to get too far away from home. It's kind of dying down on me, like randomly. Um, I recently ripped apart both the carburetors, cleaned them. And I'm not sure if that made matters better or worse. I think it didn't really change too much, um, which kind of sucks. I was expecting that to be my problem. But obviously it wasn't. Because it's still kind of running uh, iffy. So that sucks. Uh, let's see here. Oh, bump. Bump. Good old Iowa roads. Got a car coming, coming up on my tail here. I'm going to make it right. Coming around, coming around. 
Drag knee, drag knee. No, I'm not dragging knee. I am downshifting not enough though. Let's get on it. Maybe that's why the bike's running shitty. I have the clutch in and it's still idling like that. Hands not on the gas. Don't know why. Don't know why. Not cool. Not cool. Let's give it, let's shut her off here. Well, that was lame. Let's throw her into neutral. And kick her on and hopefully it isn't stuck on high rev again. See, that's the fun of having an old bike. You never know what you're gonna get. It's like right there. About choking, threw me right off. Um, I always have a ton of more respect for when I see people on old bikes or like project bikes, because they go through this shit on the daily. And I can tell you right now, it is not fun. Um, but it nevertheless leaves you for an interesting ride no matter where you are riding to. God damn, it's kind of annoying how jerky and feels like I'm riding a two-stroke or some bullshit. It's like, I don't know if you can hear it, it's like, bow, 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 and then nowhere, it's like, bah! that's all of it right there. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. If this is on my BMX Lifestyle 11 channel, thank you for watching. I guess thank you for watching no matter what, but if it's on my BMX Lifestyle 11 channel, I know this isn't my usual video. I'm contemplating making a new channel just for moto vlogs. I, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I've already hit, I think I'm at like 1600 subs as of right now. And, uh, and it sucked to have to regain all of those subs all over again. Cause although 1600 subs is not many subs, it takes quite a while to build it up and get up from, uh, from, get from zero to 1600. It takes a while, it really does. But uh, for motor vlogging, channels grow fast. And that kind of makes me want to start a whole new channel focused on motor vlog, try to get in contact with some other motor vloggers, because there's a lot of them. And, um, and, um, where was I going with this again? Uh oh, we're stuck on idle. What happens if I let the clutch out? Well, if the clutch out, it rides normal. When the clutch is in, it wants to idle at 5k though. We were messing with the throttle cables and uh, the idle adjust and all that kind of shit when we had the carbs off. Maybe we just fucked something up when we were messing with all that. Um, I'm not too sure. Might have to re-rip it all apart and figure out what the fuck's going on. Because it kind of sucks. Um, it was running pretty smooth before we took it apart. I guess, I don't know if I'd describe it as smooth. It was running before we took it apart. Um, I'm just happy it went back together and it started, you know, nonetheless, uh, it always sucks when you, when you try to fix something, all you do is make it worse, um, so I'm really kind of hoping uh, that we didn't do that. Look at that view, it reminds me of one of those like, uh, one of those postcards, or not postcards, but like pictures on the internet where it has like a really cool view. <laughs> And like, where it'd be like an inspirational quote generally put on there, they'll have like, BITCH in capital letters or in like a really fancy font. Oh look at that old VW van. That thing's sick. I gave him a thumbs up, he gave me one back. Damn, that thing was fucking sweet. Should we let it rip a little bit around this? Around this bend here? Is anybody behind me? Nobody's behind me. Full tuck! We're in full tuck! Alright! Double the speed limit! A little too much for me. We're taking this corner. Hopefully I don't fall. Race car. That's always fun. That is always an enjoyable time. I love that corner. Uh, it's kind of a nice big wide corner. But um... 
It's better than no corner. All right, I don't like this. All right, not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool. Run the soft sign, run the soft sign. What the fuck, dude? Why is that idle so high? It's kind of lame. Hey, there's some crap in there that needs to be cleared out. I love them backfires. Backfires are life. <laughs> 